So a question that seems to come up quite often is how to move things in a circle in After Effects. And in this lesson, I'm going to take a look at how to uh, move a particle system in a circular motion. But you can apply these techniques to anything. So I'm just going to get started. I'm going to create a new composition. I'm going to work with 720p, uh, 25 frames a second. Durations at 200 frames. I'm just going to click OK. Uh, the simplest way to achieve this is to basically create two nulls. So the first null is going to be right in the center. So when we create a null, it's automatically right at the center. The second null uh, is going to be our orbit null. So I'm just going to name these. I'm going to call this center null. And I'm going to call this one here orbit null. And orbit null, I'm going to hit P to bring up position. And I'm just going to move it up slightly to about here. Doesn't matter uh, exactly. Let's say 90. And I'm going to parent this orbit null to the center null. So what happens now is if I hit R on the center null and rotate it, this is basically drawing a perfect circle. So I'm just going to control Z, undo that. Now the problem is, um, if I just bring up the position of orbit null, it's already open. As I rotate the center null, the position of the orbit null doesn't seem to change. It's just always the same value. So if we attach the position of a particle system to this, nothing's going to happen. And in order to get past this, we have to use an expression called 2comp, which basically translates uh, local coordinates, or these uh, parented coordinates, into global coordinates. So it basically doesn't care um, what it's parented to, it just looks at its uh, global position. So that's what we need to use. So I'm just going to create uh, the particle system first, layer new solid. And I'm just going to create a black solid. So I'm just going to go to uh, effect simulation and CC particle systems 2. That creates a producer right in the center there. I'm just going to call this uh, particle. Uh, under producer here, we basically want to link this position to the orbit null's position because that's what's uh, drawing the circle. So I'm just going to alt stopwatch click and I'm just going to grab this pick whip here, kind of push it down and just drop it on the position of the orbit null. Click away and as you can see it's up here somewhere and um, even if I rotate this null so I'm just going to add a quick expression to the center null, Alt Stopwatch Click Rotation. And it automatically puts in there transform dot rotation. So I'm going to say equals time multiplied by 50. So this is basically going to make it just loop infinitely, just according to time like this. And as you can see, this particle system should be attached to this um, orbit null, but nothing's happening. So we're going to modify this expression here on the particle system's uh, position. And I'm just going to click here. And I'm going to create a variable a, a equals. And I'm going to get rid of this transform position at the end here. Just put a semicolon. And then next line, I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to say a dot two small t and capital C comp. So a dot two comp like this. Open brackets, open square brackets. 0, 0, 0, 0,0,0, close square brackets and close normal brackets, then a semicolon. I'm just going to click away now. And the particle system is attached the way we want it. So this is great. So I'm just going to modify the particle system slightly. I'm going to click on the uh, particle solid here. And I'm going to go to physics, get rid of gravity for starters, set that to 0. Uh, sorry, make the radius zero as well, make velocity zero, and we should get this line uh, direction, I think it should be zero, should it make a difference, extra zero as well. So we just start with a, a fresh slate, and if I just play this back, we get this perfect circle animation. So using this technique, you could attach anything uh, to that orbit null whether it's an image or a solid or a shape. But in this case, we're using a particle system. And I'm just going to make this look a bit more interesting. Um, inherit the velocity, I'll just leave that. Uh, maybe just bump up the radius slightly. Just give it a bit of thickness. Um, maybe just one each. Mm. 
that kind of looks ugly. 0.5. And we can uh, mess with the particles. So instead of line, we can use uh, bubbles or um, any type of particle. I think line's the best, to be honest. Um, just going to reduce its opacity. And I'm going to make it a blue color, because I like blue. OK, so I'll just start with this. We've got this nice little kind of loading animation. So this is the end of part one. And in part two, we're going to really uh, improve on the look of this particle system. Um, we're also going to make it 3D. So it's going to move in a helix pattern instead of just a 2D circle. So that's the end of part one. Um, if you found this useful, please share it on Twitter and Facebook. And thanks for watching.